Yes, I know it's a mess. Believe it or not, it's mostly the tablecloth that looks messy. But anywho, hello, it's my DIYs, and today, well, tonight, I'll be showing you how to make an Isabel pendant. All you need for this tutorial is scissors, cardstock, aluminum foil, red glitter, or whatever color glitter you want, and hot glue gun. First, what we're going to be doing is cutting an oval shape out of your paper. You can make it any size you want. Now remember, the aluminum, when it's wrapped around the circle, it's going to be a little bit bigger. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, this is recycled. Then you can cut or tear off a chunk of aluminum or a piece. Then put this pendant thing in there. Put the um, pendant stencil in the middle and start forming around it. It's okay if it's a bit squared off. We can fix this. Now that it is, you can simply bend around and make it or adjust it how you like. Okay. Now, we have an oval. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it the best you can. Make sure mostly all the edges are rounded. Next, you're going to take a long strip of uh, aluminum foil to make the frame. You're going to take this aluminum foil and twist it until you have a long strip of twisted aluminum foil. This is going to be for our border. Remember, if you don't have enough, you can always add some on. Adding some on is pretty simple. Just take the straight, normal piece of aluminum and your twisted, put it in, fold it over, and start twisting that. Twist it pretty thin. You want it to have a nice spiral texture. Now that you're done with this, put hot glue around the perimeter of the little aluminum foil um, circle base or oval, whatever you want to call it. Now, of course, doing the border is optional, but I do suggest it for neatness. Ow! Try not to burn your fingers. I'm always so scared of you about using hot glue gun on camera because I have to concentrate so hard. Oh, to actually not burn my fingers doing this. Oh yeah, and craft at your own risk. <laughs> Just letting you know now. If you burn my fingers, I am not responsible. I did not make you burn your fingers. <laughs> Cut off any excess. And if you'd like, reshape it. I know right now it looks a bit messy, but don't worry. Now... Normally, I will put, like, maybe a layer of glitter at the bottom, 
But from lots of trial and error, I realized that you really don't need glitter at the bottom. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of just a step that is unnecessary. So, if you want to do that, you can, but just to save some glitter, I'm not going to. You can use glitter out of a can, whatever. Oh, sorry. First, you'll squirt hot glue into the pendant until it gets to the right um, quantity of glue you want. Make sure it doesn't overflow and burn you. It should come out to be a nice oval looking shape. You just squeeze in the middle. And then you can move the pendant around to make the hot glue move so you don't have to keep squeezing in more. Remember, the aluminum will be a bit hot. So, watch your fingers. Now, you can use loose glitter, glitter glue like I'm using, whatever. Since this is almost gone, I think I'm going to go, um, nah, I think I'll use the rest of this. Cece, stop it. My cat's up here playing with my stuff. Of course not with the hot glue gun. Okay, well, obviously this bottle of glitter is out, so... Hold on. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, so, yeah. This isn't really the right grid. This is like candy cane color. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. So. Squirt it out all over and spread it. And if you're not using a nozzle tip, you can spread it with like a... Ow. If you're not using a, not a, a nozzle tip, you can easily do it with like a safety pin. Just kind of spread it around. But since I'm using a nozzle, I will use what I have. I suggest using a nozzle. Like a squirt bottle. Now, considering I've made three of these, and I've used... Um, well, I've used like one bottle of glitter for like... I don't know, two of them, but they were really massive, so... So now, you have the actual, like, gem part. Now, all you have to do is add whatever finding you want to make it clip on. You can take aluminum foil, twist it like we did before, bend, and then glue it on into a loop. Um, turn it into a loop, glue it secure, and then do that. Um... You can use wire, you can cut off safety pins and use them, you can use paper clips. It's up to you what you use to make the loop. Normally I will use like a piece of ribbon or something simple. Like I like using silver ribbon. Or you can use the ribbon with the wire fed through it or whatever. So I really hope you enjoyed making this. I really hope you had fun. This is a really easy, simple project to do. And until next time, bye!